Hi, I'm Justin Helmer, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to begin scaffolding web apps using Backbone Node Boilerplate. This first video just serves to show you how to download and install the app and get it running. The first thing to do is visit my GitHub page and download the onestep.sh file. On GitHub you can download the raw source to any directory that you want where you want to install this thing. For the sake of this demo, I'm just going to install it on the desktop. Go ahead and close out the browser and open up your favorite terminal. Uh, go ahead and run onestep.sh. For Unix machines, you might have to be concerned with permissions, so I suggest running chmod plus x to ensure you have execute permissions before running it. From there, it's going to git clone the project onto your local desktop or wherever you have installed the setup script. From there, it will use npm to install any necessary dependencies including SAS, Compass, and other build tools, as well as Grunt for repetitive tasking. After the files finish downloading and the necessary dependencies are installed, it will run the Grunt build task, which will run all the necessary build requirements to get the web app running up on your system. This build task includes launching a local web server, as well as a local Node API server, live reload servers, and a node inspector server with web access on port 8080. The node inspector tool will only run in blink based web developer tools such as Chrome's web developer tools. Also the live reload server expects some sort of connector such as Chrome's live reload add-on. For these reasons I recommend that you use Chrome for your web development. We can see now that the build task finished and the web app is launched and you can click through and test that it's working. Also if I open another tab with localhost port 3000 I get a success message from the node API server indicating that that's working as well. Finally if I open a third tab on port 8080 as described with debug port 5858 I can see that the node inspector is successfully attaching to the node server that's running. We're not interested in the success message, but the other two tabs we are. So I'm going to close the middle one and just use the other two to debug communication between the client and server.